All right, guys, we got a mega haul today. Mega haul. Most of these fragrances here in these boxes were recommended for my subscribers. There are a buttload of fragrances in here, and I'm excited to share these fragrances with you. I'm also excited to see if my subscribers think they actually know me. They know my taste. So stay tuned because, again, all blind buys, but I have no idea what I got myself into. Cue that intro. What is going on, my fragrance family? Welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. So, sitting inside these boxes lies pretty much fragrances that were recommended from you, the subscribers. I took your advice. I listened. I'm excited to see what fragrances my subscribers really appreciate and enjoy. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into my subscribers made me do it. Whiffs and sniffs. Here we go. Okay, so I've already taken care of all of the actual pulling them out of boxes, because we got a lot to go over. There's 11 fragrances here. That's a lot. So hopefully this episode won't run too long. So we got a lot to go through, so let's go. First off, I got some fragrance tips from Histoires de Parfums, 1899, 1969, and 1725. These next three were just ones that I wanted to get my nose on. 24 Gold, 24 Live Another Day, 24 Live Another Night. So there's those three. These next ones were subscriber picks, and I heard they're getting discontinued. So, Aaron Terrence Hughes Slut, <laughs> and Aaron Terrence Hughes Patchouli Noir, and then I got some 10 mils from Aaron Terrence Hughes. Deviant, Daddy, and Amalix. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the unwrapping done. We're not going to go through all that. So I'll get that all done. I'll be right back. Okay, so most of them are unboxed. I'm going to start out with Estoise de Parfum subscriber picks. So here we go. So I'm going to start out with 1725. Let's get spraying. So you might wonder why I spray on my business cards. Well, I had to find a use for Dior Sauvage. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, I do spray most of my uh, business cards with Dior Sauvage. I'm a fragrance reviewer. When I hand out my card, most of the times people are like, Oh yeah, this smells really good. So yeah, I've looked over the note breakdowns, but I, I really can't remember what's all in them. So here we go. Ooh, a little bit of like a licorice, like mm, maybe a niece. Mm, that's quite delightful. Definitely get some lavender, some citruses. That's really nice. It doesn't really remind me of anything, so that's a plus. It's got like a nice little soapy vibe, but not over soapy. It's fresh. I'm really liking the anise in it, if that's actually what's in it. I think this is the one that has some almond in it. I'm totally picking up on that. Yeah, so far so good. This was a great pickup, $17.25. I got all the Istwas of Parfums for like 60 bucks a pop from FragranceBuy.ca during their uh, 4th of July extravaganza. So definitely a great pickup. Kudos to the subscriber who, uh, yeah, recommended this to me. This is, I'm going to enjoy this. Next up, we're going to try $18.99 Estoise de Parfum. All right, I think this is the one that actually uh, kind of smells like Spice Bomb. So I love original Spice Bomb. Okay. Definitely some citrus, probably bergamot. Definitely get some juniper berries. It's nice resinous, spicy greenness. Wow, that's really good. Though it does resemble Spice Bomb, this has got some different characteristics to it. Get some aromatics, probably some violet maybe, maybe some iris. If it is iris, it's a soft powdery iris, not over powdery. Definitely some cinnamon, the cinnamon. And then it's got some sweetness to it. I really like this. Again, kudos to you, subscriber who uh, recommended me this. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. Really good, thank you. Next up is 1969 from Histoire de Parfums. Yeah, Brian Adams fragrance. Just kidding. Here we go. Now, I do remember this one. This one, I think it's a semi-gourmand. It's got Mexican chocolate in it. Oh, wow. Peach, maybe some rose, amber. I get some of that Mexican chocolate. Man, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. Even though it's like a gourmand, it's kind of like a freshy gourmand. Some sweetness, maybe from some cardamom. A little bit of spiciness. 
Man, that's super good. Okay, I'm gonna love wearing this one. Yep, this is really good. Kudos to you, subscriber. I really appreciate the recommendation. Good choice. These next three fragrances I picked up because, well, first of all, my best friend loves the show 24, and I told him that these fragrances were out there, and I don't think he really believed me. So, Jeremy, I got the Jack Bauer fragrances. Yeah, so this is 24 Gold. I, I used to hear a lot about this in fragrance reviews, so I'm kind of curious. And they were stupid cheap. I think all the 50 mLs I got were like $20 or less. Here we go. Okay. So this is an oud fragrance. I did not realize that. There's definitely oud in this. It's definitely synthetic. It's got some spices. Maybe some saffron, cardamom. I'm sure there's probably going to be some rose in this because, well, nothing goes better with oud than a rose. And definitely, yeah, I'm, getting, I'm starting to pick up maybe a little bit of rose. I'm not sure. This is good. It's an eau de toilette for $20. I don't know what the performance is going to be like, but for 20 bucks. Yeah, synthetic oud, but it's good. Jeremy, if you were actually watching this, there's Jack Bauer's face. 24. Doop, doop, doop. Anyways. And this is Live Another Day. Ah, uh, man, that's actually really good. It's good. It's definitely fresh, citrusy. It's good. I mean, yeah. It's really good. Next up, Live Another Night. Nice woodiness. A little spicy incense. Bergamot. Honestly, for 20 bucks, these are both stellar fragrances. Now that it's drying down just a little bit, it's starting to get like kind of a bubblegummy sweetness. It's still good. I understand why it's called Live Another Night. One's day, one's night. Huh, okay. Now I gotta unbox the Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances. And you know how much I enjoy doing that. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. That, I mean, you didn't even know I was gone because I was gone for like a second. But unboxings are done. It didn't take that long this time because I figured out how to open up the Aaron Terrence Hughes packaging. Woohoo. All these that I got, I hear are getting discontinued, and at least from one of my subscribers. And I know Aaron Terrence Hughes does discontinue a lot of his fragrances here and there because he's always putting some new ones out. So I'm not mad at him for doing so. Sometimes it just happens that way. So the first one we're going over is Patchouli Noir. I love me some patchouli, so let's see. First up, I'm going to say I've been thoroughly impressed with all the Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances thus far. They are beast mode Ho, ho, ho. As well as this one's going to be. Holy crap. Oh my god. Now, I'm going to be honest. This is straight up start. The, from the initial spray, this reminds me of a grapefruit roll-up. I know that sounds weird. But it's, man, it's good. Definitely I get patchouli. But it's like this sweet, dirty patchouli. This has definitely got some filth in it. And I'm really digging this. It kind of is reminiscent of uh, Mugler, Angel Men. Like old, old, non-reformulated Angel Men. This is actually what I wish Angel Men was. Wow. I'm really going to enjoy wearing this. This is, this is quality. I don't understand why he would be discontinuing this one. Anyways, that was Patchouli Noir. Next one up is, Mom, I'm sorry if you're watching this, but it's Slut. Yeah. I was really curious about this one. Uh, I've, I I know it's more geared towards women, but it's still unisex, and it's, it's supposed to have this really nice strawberry note. So, we'll see. Again, holy crap. Like, <coughs> man, these are powerful. And this has got some, some filth to it. It's got a quite animalic opening. It's like a dirty, earthy strawberry. Mixed with some other citruses, maybe some patchouli. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this one yet. It's a little funky. It's actually pretty funky. I did read reviews on this and a lot of people really enjoyed it. I get a little bit of a diaper vibe. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to let that one dry down. I, I will definitely wear it, but I'm, it might take me a minute to really enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. Next up is Deviant. And I have to say, I really like these 10 ml bottles. They look a lot like the big bottles, but just smaller. Caps are kind of cheap, but I mean, it's a 10 ml bottle. Here we go. 
Can't remember the note breakdown on this one either. Ooh, I think this is the cannabis one. Yep. Yeah, this is, this is definitely cannabis. I like this a lot. And it's a nice dry green, earthy cannabis. Not a whole lot of like fresh cleanliness, but man, this is, this is, I mean, it's still fresh, but this is, this is a good cannabis fragrance. It's a definitely deviant. Oh, that is nice. I decided to go with some of these 10 mLs just because, man, I've got so many fragrances. I don't, I don't need all huge bottles. And plus, uh, 10 mLs, this is 150 sprays. I mean, uh, this is a year worth of wearing for me. Next up is Animalix. So this is apparently like animal notes in a bottle. It's supposed to be layered on top of your fragrances. And so uh, the subscriber recommended me get this because actually it goes really well with a lot of the fragrances I already have. So we'll see. We'll see how it smells on its own. Yeah, that's definitely animalic tones. Oh yeah. Whew. Civet, Gastorium. It's good, don't get me wrong. If you like animal notes, it's good. And I do. I can definitely see this layering very well on top of other fragrances, not just Aaron Terrence Hughes, but other fragrances I have. This on top of Boss Bastard would be stellar. But man, whew. Yeah, it's, it's animal notes, definitely. Last but not least, we have Daddy. This is one of his Oud fragrances, and I really wanted to try one of his Oud fragrances. And this came highly recommended from one of my subscribers. So I didn't get the full bottle because it's like 220 bucks for a 50 ml. I just thought that was a little steep, and hell, I just bought all these fragrances. So here we go. Man, it's crazy. Just two sprays. I mean, this thing is flying off this card. Whew, that's nice. It's not a barnyard oud whatsoever. It's nice and sweet. It's got some nice animalic tones to it, but this would be awesome layered with that animalics. It's got this really nice candied sweetness to it. That oud, man, it's, that oud's really good. I think it was like a 5% concentration of oud. This nice fresh depth to it. I know that sounds weird, but that's unlike any other oud fragrance I have ever smelled. It's like a candied oud. It's almost gourmand-like. I'm really gonna enjoy wearing this. This with Animalix is gonna be awesome. So I have to say, subscribers, y'all did amazing. I'm gonna enjoy all of these. Uh, slut, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll give that a whirl. I'm not gonna go through and just revisit all the fragrances with you because I've got a lot of testing to do, a buttload. And I'd like to get some reviews going here uh, sooner than later. Other than the subscribers who actually recommended these fragrances to me, let me know if you have any of these in your arsenal. Let me know if you are interested in any of these fragrances. And also, if you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing what you got for me, and I look forward to picking them up and doing my reviews. So that's it for me this evening, guys. I hope you enjoyed another fragrance haul in the books, but don't worry, we're still going to do fragrance haul Friday. These just showed up, and I decided, hey, why not? Huh? I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and if you enjoyed tonight's episode, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And remember, you're stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.